Kristen Keith in Austin at the Texas Swimming Center to check out one of the best swimming and diving programs in the country, the University of Texas. Both the men's and women's team are nationally ranked and they share one big thing in common, diving coach Matt Scoggin. Texas Swimming and Diving has a long history. We have a very good swim team and a lot of the divers that, that come here want to be part of a successful swim team that will help them become a team that goes to NCAAs and has a shot at winning a team title. You just can't have a facility like this and not have a comparable program. Between the men's and women's teams, Texas has won 17 NCAA titles. That's second all-time on the women's side and third on the men's. When you look around the swimming center, you see the banners, the history, the tradition. But the success that helped hang those banners isn't just in the pool, it's on the boards. NCAAs, we have won because of diving and we would be glad to do that again. And this is definitely a year where they can and will play a big part for us. I'd say this is the strongest team we've had since I've been here for a while, just depth-wise. I'd say we're definitely the top one or two teams with men and women combined. Um, the great thing about our team is we have such good variety. So we have like great springboard divers and we have great platform divers. And so I think we have someone that could possibly win NCAAs on every event, which is very unique. It really depends on the day, on who is going to come in and have the best meet. We have six people on the men's team, and any one of those six, depending on the day, could win. And pretty much the same thing on the women's side. It's a very competitive team. They all get along, they're good friends. But when it comes right down to it, they would like to come out on top over their teammates. Having the team that we have, it, it's very motivating. Because, I mean, you want your teammates to do well, but at the same time, you want to beat them. That competitive nature and camaraderie is part of what fuels the program's success. But its accomplishments are due in large part to Scoggins' coaching. I, I always brag to our recruits that I think he's the best diving coach in the world. So um, I, I don't think it gets any better than that. He's just nationwide known as one of the best coaches in the country. and. Just getting to know him and meeting him, it just was really apparent to me that he, this is where I was going to excel. I love Matt's personality. He's really laid back but still really pushes us and he knows what it takes to be successful because he's been there himself. Scoggin's list of accomplishments both as a coach and a competitor are quite extensive. A Longhorn alum, Scoggin dove for Texas until 85 and retired after he took 10th on platform in the 92 Barcelona Olympics. Two years later, he became the diving coach at UT. We've been very fortunate. This is my 20th season at Texas, and uh, we've never been in a better situation. Everyone's um, pushing each other. They're, they have big goals, and they want to reach them. He's considered one of the best coaches in the country, and after 20 years at Texas, Scoggin has not only mastered coaching, but the art of recruiting. Matt just does a great job. He's probably the most thorough recruiter out there. He just does a phenomenal job does a better job when he gets them here. Eddie and Matt are great recruiters. I mean, they, uh, they know what to look for in athletes, and they're really good at cultivating really good athletes and making them great. In diving with Matt, I've come a long way, and I think, you know, anything's possible. Coach Scoggin does an unbelievable job. I mean, he's a great coach, and more importantly, he's a great person. And, you know, that's how he gets good kids to come here, and he just makes them better. I mean, he's proven time and time again that he makes divers better, and that's why people keep coming here. One of the first questions I ask is what kind of a student that they are. You know, are, are they serious students? The next question I usually ask the coach or the parents is, you know, what, what type of young man or young woman is this diver? What's, what's their behavior like? Um, are they good people? And then the third question I ask is, can you do some pretty good diving? Uh, but it's not as important as the first two. I, when, I, when I was a rookie and I first started recruiting, I, I looked at how great of a diver they, they were first. And then that's when I started to gray. Um, <laughs> when I was a rookie. So I've changed those priorities. We find out if they're a great student and if they're a good person. And yeah, if they have some talent, we can help mold them into great talent. And according to Scoggin, when you recruit the right kids, even your walk-ons have a shot at a title. One of our young men um, who is a walk-on here, watch out for him. <laughs> so it really could be anyone. Uh, and some great things are going to happen for this team and I think it's going to happen for all of them. So what makes Texas's diving program so strong year in and year out? Ask the coach and he'll tell you it's his athletes. Ask the athletes and they'll say it's the coaching. What you may notice during their workouts is the strong rapport Scoggin has with his athletes. 
He has a unique coaching style that makes great athletes want to compete for him. But for now, Scoggin is just focused on getting his divers ready for their next meet, the Big 12 Championships. From Austin, Kristen Keith, Big 12 Digital Network.